Let's start with a little tour, a quick tour of our website. Now you're going to get to your website by again going to CI Keys, clicking your dashboard, and then uh, coming on in and hitting My Apps. As you scroll down here, so you'll just have your, it'll be in one spot, probably the top spot for you, and that's all you have as you start. Because I have so many, I got to scroll down here for a second. Here's the one I just made for us. Again, I'm going to click the uh, WP Admin link. That's going to be the one that's going to allow me to edit it. And we come and land on our web, uh, our web, our WordPress website. Okay, and this is where we're landing. This is updates. Hey, there's this thing going on. All that kind of good stuff. So let's take an let's get a, a quick look at what our uh, site looks like. This is how we're gonna be able to edit things and move things around. Uh, firstly, I can come up here and if I come to this part that says my blog and I click visit site, this is gonna show us what the site looks like to anybody um, observing it from from the outside and from uh, 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 on the web. So we can always have that. Now again, let's have a look at this. We have three pages, a resume, um, a summary of our research, and a little bit of an about or about me right there. Now these are pages. These are elements that aren't really gonna change that much. You, of course, can edit them and change them as you like, but generally speaking, they're more static. Our landing page, though, is gonna feature our posts. Now posts or blog posts are really more of our update. That's the stuff that we're gonna be adding new information to. We're gonna be adding a new page here, new page there, uh, at least once a week. And so uh, we have posts here, or blog posts, and pages here, more stagnant things. I'm going to come back here and go back to the dashboard. Let's talk about uh, WordPress. Now, WordPress, the great thing with WordPress is if we look at our blog posts, for example, here, if I click on this, I have a bunch of blog posts. Now, the way the website websites used to work, if we wanted to change something, we would have to recode everything and rewrite everything. Uh, all the content and all everything every time we um, wanted to change the look, let's say, of our website. What WordPress does is it's a type of a thing called a content management system. And what this does is uh, it makes it really easy to change the appearance or change the, the fonts or the colors or whatever, um, but not lose all of our content. So our content is living in a couple places. Our content is living in our blog posts, our content is living in our pages. Here are our pages here. And in our media. So we might have some media that we've uploaded, different pictures and images and all this kind of stuff. And great. So that stuff is going to stay the same. So if we change the outer shell of the website, the information that we created will just be uh, will just move to uh, you know be be displayed in that within that shell those shells if we come down here to appearance and click theme those shells for wordpress are known as themes and so um, the theme that we are using here is simply uh simply read okay uh, you are more than welcome to event to play around with other themes and all that kind of good stuff. I know that this one is working because this one is active. The, these others are in my in my uh, memory here, but it's the um, the one that is active that's being displayed. If I come over here, this one isn't active. I can do a live preview to see what it might look like, kind of. But then if I really liked it, I can click activate, and then it'll it'll make my site look like that. Um, for now, though, since we're learning how to do this, for now, we're, I don't want you to do that. Once we um, have crawled a little bit, you can start to play with these. But th those are themes. The other key thing, uh, a customizable thing, um, and now I should say also these themes you can get uh, free uh, free through the web WordPress marketplace. You can also pay for themes if, if you were so uh, motivated, but you don't need to pay for anything. There, there's lots of thousands and thousands and thousands of free versions of things here. Um, now, the, the theme is the shell. Additional functionality comes from things called 
plugins. And so these are our plugins. Um, if something needed to be updated, say with a theme or with a plugin, we would see a little red, red bubble here with a number, and we could just come in here and click update, and it would update those things. These are, this has given us some additional functionality. These are things that I'd like you to have, and most of them should be activated. There are a few others that are worth having, like this anti-spam guy, like Jetpack, that I've not activated, because when you do it, um, sometimes these these um, tools require your, your web address and, and some customization. So I'd encourage you to consider um, activating at least Jetpack, um, but, uh, but that's one that, that uh, we shouldn't have automatically uh, started. It shouldn't be automatically activated when we start it, but I encourage you to, to uh, click activate and go through the um, authentication procedures and the customization procedures that you need. Okay, so again, we have our posts, which are frequently changed content, pages, which are much more stable content, and we have our themes and our plugins.